We all know that diet is an important part of your heart health, but did you know it's not all about a low fat diet? Instead, focus on things like grains and nuts, as well as legumes and olive oil for a Mediterranean diet rather than just a low fat diet. Well, for years, we told patients that really a low fat diet was the best thing for the heart. And two recent studies in the last year have shown both a reduction in heart disease and in diabetes with the Mediterranean diet. Uh, it has a actually 30 to 40 percent of uh, their calories are from fat, but mostly in the form of olive oil instead of from meats or from butter. So what's recommended is sort of the bottom part of the pyramid be fruits, vegetables, nuts, olive oil with every meal. Uh, slightly higher than that would be things like fish, which they encourage to have at least twice a week followed by chicken, and lastly, uh, sweets, sugars, and red meat is uh, really tried to be avoided, but the emphasis is on healthy oils, fats, from uh, avocados, almonds, pecans, walnuts, rather than uh, just a low-fat diet. If you feel tired during the day, that could be a sign of sleep apnea, and sleep apnea could be a sign of heart disease. Sleep apnea um, is a really underdiagnosed disorder. There's so many people out there who have it who don't realize it. And the reason is the patient doesn't know they have it because they're sleeping. So it's their bed partner that, that actually diagnoses the sleep apnea. It's the spouse or significant other that's in the room with them that tells me he stops breathing, I have to shake him, I feel like I have to call 911, he snores so loud I have to go into the living room, and then you realize, oh, they might have sleep apnea. So sleep apnea uh, is a, a disorder of sleep, obviously. <clears throat> But one of the, how it affects the heart is that it really influence, influences the pulmonary pressures, or things, something we call pulmonary hypertension. And it can really stress the heart, specifically the right side of the heart. Um, people with sleep apnea can suffer from disorders like pulmonary hypertension, right heart dysfunction, and even cardiac arrhythmias, which we found treating it uh, not only makes them feel so much better and energetic and have a better quality of life, but we can prevent some of those cardiac issues too. Stress can affect us in many different ways, including in our hearts, and we need to find ways to relieve that stress. Men need to find a constructive way to manage stress. Stress definitely is one of the risk factors for heart disease, and, and men uh, on one end uh, react more and have this more of a, uh, uh, an anger that is brought out by more of what you see. Uh, in those situations, yes, it's good to release that anger. You don't want to keep it inside, but try to find a constructive way of doing that. There's no question aerobic activity of 30 minutes or more a day uh, is the first place to start. Other side of it, I strongly encourage, encourage as a supplement to that is yoga probably two, three times a week. And of course, get initially with a good instructor so that if you're going to start doing it on your own, you have the right direction and instructions to do things right, both from a uh, tension release, from stretching, to the meditation that comes with it in breathing. According to the National Institutes of Health, 5% of 40-year-old men and 15 to 25% of 65-year-old men experience erectile dysfunction on a long-term basis. Erectile dysfunction could be a sign of heart disease. Uh, there's many causes of erectile dysfunction, one of which can be peripheral vascular disease, which goes hand in hand with coronary artery disease. Um, our, our, sex organs that, our sex organs require blood flow and if those arteries going there have blockages in it, you can get erectile dysfunction, which would be a clue that you could have a blockage other places, of course, most concerningly the heart. So people with erectile dysfunction should be screened for coronary artery disease. There are lots of other things that can cause erectile dysfunction. Medications are very common in this day and age. There are about seven million stroke survivors in the United States, and a previous stroke can put you at risk for heart disease. We're finding more and more that uh, people who that causes of strokes that we didn't know the cause of was from an abnormal heart rhythm called atrial fibrillation. A lot of people don't know they have atrial fibrillation or they've been told they have an irregular heart rhythm but aren't uh, treated appropriately. Uh, so uh, anyone with a history of stroke and certainly a history of stroke and an abnormal heart rhythm certainly needs to see a cardiologist to make sure their stroke wasn't from their heart. 